Uh. Yo, what's up, guys? This is my third take. Uh, uh, I think I just can't watch myself back on video. So I'm just going to make this video and put it out there so you guys can... Uh, I'm trying to answer a question right now that I saw in one of the comments. And it's going to take forever to type, so I figured just make a video. My name is Sam Jam Spencer, coming from Honolulu, Hawaii. Actually, Kapolei, Hawaii. This is where I'm at. And I'm um, just... Uh, was added to the group a little while ago. I'm ecstatic that a group like this exists with other people who share the same exact passions and uh, um, problems that we share as screen printers. We all have tons of problems. That's what screen printing is, right? Screen printing is problem solving on the fly while we're trying to produce a fucking quality product for a good price so we can maybe make a living off of it. This is how I make my living. I've made my living doing screen printing for a number of years now, ever since I've even when I was still in high school, and I'm an old fucking fart right now, but this is what I do. Um, and so, basically, let me just show you guys my little makeshift shop that I have set up right now. I'm just getting out of a partnership that uh, went bad. This is the second one I did. I basically was uh, in business with this dude. He was the money guy. I was the guy who knew what the fuck I was doing. We grew a business from zero to 60, and um, basically my brother that's my shirt catcher uh basically um grew this business and uh went south so i took all my shit that i had we had a big shop two automatics a 10 color an eight color we bought another six color we were pumping shit every day um got the shit that i needed to run out of this garage and now i'm running out of this garage and as you can see it's a small tiny little setup working off of this old ass mnr blue max 2 and this old ass Economax flasher, I mean uh, Economax dryer, old ass Hopkins flash. Um, but it works, man. It works. Takes a little longer. Elbows get a little more sore. Muscles get a little more sore because I got to manually print every fucking shirt. It's okay. It's okay. I work back up to it. But basically, I was making this video because I wanted to showcase this light exposure unit that I built. I saw someone post a comment asking questions about a light exposure they built. But they was having problems getting the correct pressure without a vacuum blanket. You don't need a vacuum blanket. You don't need one. Let me show you how I do it. This is what I do. This is the box I built. I probably spent about 300 bucks on this box. I would have spent a lot less, but birch is fucking expensive. And the hardware store only had birch when I went to buy the wood. So I had to buy birch. Anyway, I got on the phone with Rich Carrillo from Yolano Emotions. And we went over a bunch of different scenarios and situations. Rich Carrillo is the man, by the way. If you guys have any questions about emotion, he's the man. You're going to want to call him up. Look for his information online. You can find him. He's not hard to get a hold of. Ask him any question you want. If you're a newbie and you have very, very, very newbie type of questions, don't ask him. Because this guy can get into the science with you. You're going to waste his time if you're asking him very newbie questions that could be just answered on the site. So just ask the questions on the site or page or whatever you guys want to call it, group. Um, but basically, I made this unit, right? This is a annealed glass that I found on Craigslist. Some dude was selling it. It's non-tempered. There's no UV filters. This LED light I found on eBay. I went over wavelength and nanometer spectrums with Rich. He told me the ones that would be best if I could find. I found it. I bought it. The light was like 150. Um, now, how do I pressurize? Okay, so I figured out a way to do this, right? I found these things from Walmart. These are like little flooring shits that you put in your kids' room so they don't uh, hurt their head if they get fall over or whatever. Glued a bunch of them together, as you can see, right? That's the pad that I made. And that's what I used to pressurize. Now, the problem I ran into with these things is they have this little pattern. And when I was shooting screens that didn't have too much detail, it was fine. But once I started shooting, uh, once I started doing some really small dots and stuff, I ran into problems with rosé patterns because of these little, you can see these little things. But I found out that if I heated it, it smoothed out. So all I did was take my heat gun, heated this bitch up on both sides so I can use both sides to shoot screens with, right? And um, put my screen on here, throw this pad right on the design, where I'm doing it, drop this bitch down. I have these toggle clamps I bought off of Amazon for like fucking 13 bucks. And as you can see, once I lock these bitches down, oh, it's quite a amount of pressure. I don't know exactly how much it is. If I had to estimate, it would probably be around 30 to 40 pounds of pressure. Uh, I'm gonna get a pressure tester and test it to see for sure what it is. All I know is I've done experimenting and I played with 
with these things and I output a film with all half tones and I tried uh, different pressures on it and that's the sweet spot that I found out and that shit works. It cost me like 300 bucks to, sh to build the whole thing. Um, if any of you guys have questions, hit me up. You guys, I've been getting a bunch of inboxes on my messenger. I don't mind it. I'm glad to help anybody out who needs any help. Um, when I started screen printing, there was no internet. And uh, all of this information was very hard to come by. I, saved, I, I, I ran into a lot of headache and a lot of wasting shirts, a lot of wasting ink, a lot of wasting screens. I probably could, if I could help save some of that headache for some of you folks, I'm cool with it. Hit me up.